welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Today, I'm going to be attempting to have a full face makeup using only Revolution makeup. So I went to the shop and got a whole load of Revolution products. Some of the things I already had and I've just taken out my makeup storage. But some of the things I've actually never tried out before and are completely new. So I'm so excited to try all these products out. So let's get straight on with the video. Okay, first, before we actually start applying the makeup, I am going to tie my hair up and put on a headband because I don't want my fringe getting in the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, my hair is now up, so let's get straight on with the makeup. So the first thing, I'm trying to find it right now, is the primer. So I got the Revolution Blur and Prime Primer, and it's a paw blurring one. This is what it looks like. So let's open this up and apply this. Okay, whoa. The top is not how I expected it to be like. It's kind of like an icing top. That sounds so weird. Why did I just say that? It looks a bit like an icing top, not gonna lie. Okay. It's not like the primers I usually get. It's like um, a skin tone colour. Whilst I usually get primers that are clear. So let's put this on. I don't actually know how much to use because it's like a different colour. Oh, I just swapped out. It's a different consistency to my go-to primers. I haven't really got a mirror because the mirror I have is so high up right now. Because I need to get the best lighting for you guys. Okay. So let's blend this in. This actually does feel really smooth when I'm putting this on. Like, it's making my skin feel really smooth. So I feel like applying the makeup will be a lot easier with this. Because my other primers, they don't really do much, being honest, um, like at all. I mean, it does make um, the application of the makeup a little bit easier, but it really doesn't do that much. Um, so I'm happy to say that this one does feel pretty promising um and like it's actually gonna do something so we'll soon see okay so this primer is all done so let's move on to the next thing the next thing is the pore blurring full coverage foundation i am literally praying that i got this in the right shade i got it in f6 it looks accurate but we're going to have to see um i actually haven't got a liquid foundation from revolution before I've always got the stick foundations, um, but to being honest, I prefer liquid foundations, so we're going to give this a go. Whoa, there's literally nothing in the bottle, it's all air. Look, look at that. Wait, what? There's literally nothing in the bottle. There's literally nothing in the bottle, like, I'm not lying. I just said that like three times in a row. This better be really good. I'm not kidding you. There's literally nothing in the bottom, like in the bottle. Like I'm squeezing this out right now. Oh my God, that's a letdown. I mean, if this is good, then that's okay. But like, I was expecting like a fair bit of foundation here. Cause look how big the tube is. There's hardly anything in it. Oh my god! Anyway, let's blend this in and give it a go. Okay, foundation is all done. So I think next we're going to be moving on to concealer. So I was going to get a liquid concealer because I am going to be using baking powder. Um, just a heads up. But I couldn't find any, so I'm going to have to use this stick one that I found. Um, so this is the matte base concealer. Um, I got this in shade C4. Hopefully it matches the um, foundation. Oh, correctly. Um, they look pretty similar. But we're going to give it a go. So let's open this. <gasps> it looks so nice because it's like a ball instead of like a flat stick. So this is gonna feel good under my eyes, I already know that. Okay, yeah, this is like the perfect shade.
Okay. I'm pretty happy with this so far. It looks promising. So let's give it a blend. So I think we're going to move on to baking now. Um, and can I just say, I'm gonna be so bad at this because I haven't used baking powder in so long, like so long. So this is the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder um, and it's banana. That's just like the shade of it. Oh my God, I literally know I'm gonna be so bad at this. Okay, I've got my brush. I'm actually dreading this. I feel like it's gonna go everywhere. <gasps> Work. Okay, what's in the lid? Don't want to put too much in. So. I'll deal with the mess in a bit. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is highlighter slash blush. Um, because I got this palette with a nice like rose shade in it. And this is like um, a highlighter and a blush all in one. So you only have to put this on. You don't have to put both of them on. So I'm going to give this a go. Um, if I can actually open it. It looks really nice and shiny and pink. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my finger. Oh, phew, it's not too like, whoa. Oh, that looks so nice, I love that. You can kind of see it. Okay, next I'm going to be applying a bit of contour. So this is a palette that I already have. Um, because I couldn't find any the contour palettes that I wanted. Um, so I'm just going to put some of this on. If you're wondering, I'm using this shade right here. Okay, contour is all done. So now we're going to move on to eyebrows. Um, for the eyebrows, I'm going to be using two products that I already have. So I'm going to be using this brow gel, um, from obviously from Revolution. I use this all the time, it's honestly so good. Um, I'm looking in the viewfinder right now, so it looks like I'm looking like above you guys. It's because I'm looking at the viewfinder. This is the shade. I actually need to get another one of these soon because it's literally so blunt. You can't see that because it's not gonna focus right now. But it's literally so blunt, like I can't really use that for much longer. So for much longer, so I'm going to have to get a new one soon. Okay, eyebrows are all done. I'm happy with those. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to my eyes. So um I actually didn't get a new eyeshadow palette because I have tons. So I'm just going to be using an existing eyeshadow palette from Revolution that I have. Um which is oh which is this one um oh you can say hi to yourself ignore the messiness of this um but um i just felt like this one would be the right one to choose for this look this is inside of it um but before we apply that i'm just going to put on a bit of primer which i did already have just some eye primer this is what it looks like Put a bit of this on. Okay, that's all blended in. So I'm going to pick a shade now that um, I'm going to use. Ow. So I think I'm going to be using this shade right here. So it looks really nice and it's glowy. And it just fits this look really well. Let's grab my eyeshadow look. There we go and let's go. Oh, 
Okay, eyeshadow is all done. I'm actually really liking this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it's pretty subtle, so you can't see it that much, um, but it does actually look really nice and glowy, um, which I love in an eyeshadow. Um, so, we're going to be doing mascara now. And I already had this one. Um, I was going to get a new one, but I thought no, because I'm absolutely obsessed with this mascara. It's the Blowout High Volume Mascara. Um, and it's honestly amazing. Like, it's one of my favorite makeup things. I'm just obsessed with it. I don't use any other mascara because I just use this one every time. So let's put this one on. So I 100% recommend this to anyone and everyone. Mascara is all done. So I think the last thing we're going to be using is this um lip vinyl intense shine lip gloss so this is new and um i was struggling on what shade to get because uh, there's literally so many but i finally decided on this one i feel like it looks really nice um because i didn't really want to get like a pink one i didn't really want a red one so i kind of got a shade in between that and it's kind of like a matte shade which i really like Get it open and I'll put it on. Oh, yes, this looks really nice. This looks so nice. Let's put this on, guys. Um, I have something negative to say about this. I think you can already tell what I'm gonna say. It's like brown oh my god oh my god it's literally brown uh, I hate it I mean this would look good in a different makeup look but this is not rocking this makeup look at all oh my god oh my god I hate the feel of it like, my lips are really dry, and I like hydrating ones, but this just like, I had to yank it across my face. Oh no, it's on my teeth, no! Guys, 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 I'm back. Um, I managed to sort it out by blotting my lips on a piece of tissue. Um, and it's a lot more subtle now and it goes with my look a lot more than before and it doesn't look brown anymore so i do like this i just need to blot it a bit so it doesn't go full on crazy um but i have finished the look now so i'm going to show you some close-ups of this look so first i'm going to show you it without my glasses and then i'll show you it with my glasses Okay everyone, that will be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm actually really happy with this look. I had a few times um, where I kind of messed up, like with the baking powder, but as I said, I've only used that like once before and that was like a couple of years ago. Um, so sorry about that. I know some of you will probably be screaming at me right now because I did something wrong. And yeah, I'm not really that good at makeup because I'm kind of a tomboy kind of person. Um, but I am interested in makeup and I really want to get better. So I'm only going to get better by continuing to do it. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell right down there. So you never miss a single video. And that is it from me for today everyone. I will see you all in my next video.